guys, it's Boris. So at Trader Fest, we talk a lot about creating the right environment so we can have the best optimal trading that we can. Now, the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that many, many stresses that come in trading have nothing to do with strategy or analysis. Literally 50% of all the mistakes I've done in my life have not been mistakes in analysis or mistakes in my strategy. They've just been stupid clerical mistakes of order entry. And that's because anytime you're entering on a manual trade and you have to manage risk, you are susceptible to making errors in size, errors in risk, even errors in the instrument that you want to trade. Now imagine if you had a tool that would eliminate all those errors for you, which means it would eliminate 50% of the most common errors that traders make. And it will allow you to just simply focus on strategy and execution and not have to worry about the mundane aspect of trading. That's exactly what we did here with Flash Trader. I'm going to show you what it does. And I think you guys are going to really like it. Most importantly, it's totally free for you as part of our ACAP experience. So let's start with the MetaTrader 5 platform. We'll take a look at Bitcoin right now. It's trading in early Asia session. And if I was to, for example, buy Bitcoin, let's say buy two or three, uh, what is this, four, four tenths of a lot of Bitcoin, I just simply click on this uh, panel over here on the buy panel, and I'm in the trade. Eh, relatively pretty easy, right? However, however, if I needed to put a stop and a take profit on this trade, I'd have to right click the trade, go into modify or delete. Um, over here, put a stop loss. What is this? 18,000. Let's put, I put an 18,000 stop loss on this and put a, I don't know, 20,000 target on it, right? Like this. Press the button and put it all in here. And then if I wanted to close the trade, I have to find this tiny little X or I would have to right click this and say close position. And you can see how tedious and first of all, how incredibly um, prone to error this whole process is. Right now, let's replicate this whole process with Flash Trader. So I have Flash Trader here, right? And again, same kind of a thing. It, it mimics the MT5 uh, interface. So the buy sell panels are on the right here. I'm just going to preset my stop to 18,000. I'm going to put my first target to 19,000. This is something that I think you guys will really enjoy. One of the things that Flash Trader can do is it can create a short exit, move the stop automatically to break even and then have a long exit. So let's say I'm, I want to be bullish Bitcoin. I'm going to buy it, stop 18,000. First target is 19,000, but a second target, I'm going to put it 22,000, right? And I'm going to just hit the buy button right now. And boom, I'm in the trade. The first thing you'll notice is the stop is right there. The long target, the, my final target is, is the one that the, the uh, MetaTrader is displaying. But mark my words, uh, it will exit on the short target if the short target is hit and move the whole stop to break even. I'll show that to you in just a bit. But um, trust me when I tell you that this is one of the greatest little techniques to be able to, um, to do what many, many penny professional traders love to do, which is take short profits and then leave part of the position and be able to really, really, really uh, work, your, uh, work your target, right? Now, um, what do we buy this at? We bought it at 1884, right? 1884? Let's just, for argument's sake, while I'm talking, I'm going to put this 18,885. First of all, notice what I'm doing. We're already in the trade. We're already in um, the position. And yet I'm able to change my first take profit completely post-trade. This is revolutionary. Almost nowhere can you find an EA where you can actually change your parameters after the EA has gone live, right? Um, so my first target is 1885. Now, just to prove to you that I can actually change stuff around, suppose I change the stop now to 17,000, right? Watch this. I move the stop and look at my stop uh, stop loss. Now it's at 17,000. Um, this is one of the greatest aspects of this um, EA. It's, first of all, what's called front of the chart EA. You don't have to worry about setting it up. It's all completely intuitive. It's, it's, it sits on the front of the chart, so you can just basically operate it right there with point-and-click personality. But most importantly, you can manipulate it after the trade is live. You can change these parameters and settings as the trade develops, which means you can react to the market completely dynamically, something I think is incredibly unique um, to this position. 
right? So that's just one tiny little aspect of this particular trait. Now notice one other thing that's sort of interesting here. You can modify the trade to trade in lot sizes or to trade in dollar size. This is a dollar denominator account. This is a dollar, $100,000 account. So I have essentially $20,000 worth of Bitcoin that I'm trading. What if I wanted to trade the exact same amount, $20,000 worth of the euro dollar, right? What would that be? I simply type in the word 20, type in the number 20,000, and I have the exact same dollar exposure on my euro trade as I do on my Bitcoin trade. The ability to make every single trade equal dollar size is again, something totally unique on this, on this um, uh, algo. And it is something that is completely built in where you don't have to think about it twice. So this is your dollar. I put 20,000 of your dollar. Great, I can trade that, right? What if I wanted to, um, let's just change our parameters here. Let's just go to US 30, right? Just to show you. And I wanted to trade, here's US 30. Let's just get a little, we need, we need a, um, a tick. Okay, here's a live tick. The moment you get a live tick, the um, EA is automated. And let's say I wanted to, to put $20,000 worth of US 30. How much is that? And look, I moved the cursor off, my, um, off the focus and I have it seven tenths of a lot. So now I have the exact same dollar amount on the US 30 as I do on Bitcoin or um, Euro dollar. Now, of course, it's within a thousand bucks up or down because obviously you have to uh, round up to the nearest whole number. But still, it's amazing if you think about it. Basically, your risk exposure is completely uniform within a couple of ticks. I mean, a thousand dollars on a notional on US 30 is nothing in terms of pips. Um, and it allows you to be able to have equal weighted positions all the way through, right? Very cool. So let's do um, a US 30 position as well. So I'm going to go, I don't know, let's just go, I'm going to go long US 30, $20,000 worth of US, you know, US 30 at market right over here and, and go long here. Now, here's what I want to show you. Remember I said to you, I can, um, I can change this to um, one point in the money and then the, stop, and then the target is going to go, um, let's see if it, if it does it hopefully for me live. If I can just get one point in the money, it will sell half my position. My position is seven tenths of a lot. And I simply just need the US 30 to kind of move around here, which it's not, it's just dying out on me because it's Asia. But if it does go up higher, it will, oops, and there we're there, right? And look, look over here. We were seven tenths of a lot and now I'm three tenths of a lot. I sold half of it automatically. I'm at break even, I'm at break even. I'm probably gonna get stopped out of my break even, but the point is it doesn't matter. Uh, this, this was an artificial example to show you how the EA actively manages your risk. And now, by the way, it's, it's running. Okay, let's close it out. We make money. Boom, we're closed out. And we made money on both sides of our position um, while, by the way, holding that second half at purely break-even positions. It's amazing, I think, in many, many different ways. So this was just an example of how we can do different instruments, same dollar size if we want or di you know, different lot sizes if we want. Uh, and we did this in terms of price, right? We can we, we set targets in terms of actual price, but this thing can also set targets in terms of points. So, for example, uh, sorry, um, actually in in the U.S. 30, it it did set the targets in terms of points for us because remember, I I was in at um, 3,700, whatever it was, and I had a stop of 100 points, right? This is what I wanted to show you. So, I, so I have a stop. I can set it in points. Um, like I had it here, or conversely, I can set it in price. And once I set it in price, you see, by the way, it all changes color to, to, to notify you, oh, you're not setting parameters in price. So make sure that you put it in terms of price. So let's say I want to put in, you know, 30,000 as my stop and my take profit will be, I don't know, 30,800 and my other take profit is 30,900 just for argument's sake, right? Again, I can go buy in here. And now you see, I have a stop loss at 30,000, TP at 3,900, because it's always gonna to go to the second TP. Which now actually brings me to another interesting point. This um, algo is designed, the flash trader is designed to basically do short exit, long exit as a default strategy. But what if you said, you know what? I don't wanna do short exit, I just wanna do one exit. I just wanna, Boris, I'm a straight, you know, single entry, single exit kind of a guy, great. You want to do that? No problem whatsoever. This thing is smart enough to do that. 
I'm going to do this again in prices just to make it easy for everybody. I'm going to put a $30,000 price on this, right? We're going to put zero for TP1. And for TP2, we're going to put um, 31,000 just for argument's sake, okay? Just, just to do it this way. I'm going to go long here. Now you see I'm long the position, 30,000 stop, 31,000 take profit. And now the position is going to essentially go full out at 31,000. There's no, there's no short target. The short target set to zero basically makes it so that it can go to the long target. And by the way, you know, if I wanted to set this up, what is this, 30,700? Let's say 30,705. Let's say I did this this, this way. And um, if it gets up to 30,705 or even, you know, the cool thing, by the way, is you can actually set this to like uh, five, six, right? To, oh, we're, we're above it. I'm above it. I'm above it. Oh, this is the problem. 30,000. Five. Let's leave it at five. Okay. Um, and if it goes to five, the whole position, the whole position will be taken out. I have seven tenths of a lot here, and the whole position will be taken out at five. So we'll see if it uh, if it rallies into our position. I just wanted to show you the whole functionality of how this works. Um, of course, now it dies out on us and stays very very quiet. Now, um, while this is moving, four fifteen. Ah. Uh, it's always it's always going to torture me on this. Maybe three. Let's see if we can do three. Three. It just needs it just needs to go bid three, and then it, then it will go. Let's see if it goes up just a little bit. No, probably not. It's just it, it seems to have peaked out for the time being. Oh, there it goes. Three forty. Look, disappeared. Disappeared. My whole position got taken out. Single entry, single exit. Put the TP down to zero. That's it. Super super easy. So one couple of last things to show you. Uh, because this is such a cool little little tool, we can also do pendings. And the thing is very, very smart at understanding how to do pendings. So um, let's say I'm going to put a pending price here of 30000 and I'm going to put a buy. I'm going to put I'm going to hit the buy button. Very important if you're doing pending, you want to not hit the price, but hit the actual buy button. I'm going to hit the buy button. Now it knows, it knows that it's a limit entry because it's underneath the price. It's underneath the price, right? So let's cancel this out. And let's say now I'm going to put it at 31,000 on the buy side again. So now it knows that's a buy stop. That means you want to buy it if it reaches 31,000. It does the exact same thing, of course, on the sell side. So if I wanted to sell it at 30,000, that's going to be a sell stop because it's underneath the market, right? I'm going to hit sell, right? Um, it will do this. And by the way, um, Watch, you know, so like right now it has no stops, no targets. It's, it's a pending order, right? Of course, I can put a stop on here of like, I don't know, 33,000 on my stop. My, my, let's say just we're going to do one single target, 30,000 sell, 25,000. I'm an Uber bear for argument's sake. I'm going to sell it with a 25,000. And look, I've adjusted my whole uh, order. So now when it goes off into the, uh, into the marketplace, it will be completely fully protected as it goes into the marketplace. So here's all the things you can do. It can come in market and put an automatic stop on a target. It can put a stop on a target after you're in the market to adjust your ways. It can give you a short exit or a long exit. It can allow you to trade in dollar sizes or in lot sizes. And of course, it can let you do pending orders up and down, both limits and stops on the sell side and on, on, the, uh, on the buy side. It's an incredibly useful Swiss Army tool of trading Yours 100% free as part of our ACAP experience. We've spent lots and lots of hours creating it because we've had, of course, lots of trading experience and wanted to say to ourselves, what is something that we could create that could be truly, truly useful to us every single day? And I promise you, it really is. So I wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. This is Boris Schlossberg, over and out.